in this video, I'm going to tell you about pre-workout and coffee and which one is actually better for you. Okay, so if you're anything like me, when you walk into GNC, I get a little bit overwhelmed by all the supplements they have. On top of that, the guy behind the counter is pressuring you to buy more stuff and you don't even know what you're looking for. Well, there's plenty of reasons why channeling your inner basic white girl can actually help your workouts. Pre-workout can get so expensive. I've seen pre-workouts go for around $45 all the way up to $100. Coffee only costs like $7 to $10, which is way cheaper than pre-workout. Okay, so this is your average pre-workout nutrition facts. Look at that. It's just loaded with chemicals, sugars, dyes, all these extra calories and things you don't need in your body. Here's what black coffee contains on its nutrition label. Virtually nothing. The calorie count is very low, and there's not a bunch of additives like there are in pre-workout. There's so much caffeine in pre-workout that it can override your system. One serving size can have up to three times what one cup of coffee has. All that caffeine will make you really, really dependent on the pre-workout. So it's a lose-lose for you. You're crashing harder after your workout, and your body is becoming more and more addicted to this caffeine, so you're gonna keep throwing this ridiculous amount of money to buy this stuff. There's only about four to 10 calories in black coffee, depending on which brand you use, and there's no added sugar or crazy chemicals added into it. As long as you stay away from the creamers and added sugar, you'll get just as much caffeine as you need for your workout, and you won't break the bank while doing it. 